Hello friends uh, and welcome back. Uh, we are discussing about uh, traversing in our last two classes. Uh, we have discussed about uh, traversing parents and traversing childs. So in this class we are going to discuss about uh, traversing you can see a sibling. Sibling. What sibling? Uh, I'm just giving an example. Here for example for parents. Parents we have high level high level for parents for brother and sister brother and sister we have same level same level for you can say uh, children uh, for children you can say lower level just like this lower level so the point is here I uh, just uh, in this class we are going to discuss about uh, sibling so sibling called same level we have discussed about children also about parents also and in this class we are going to discuss about uh, traversing sibling sibling is called uh, same level is called sibling so this card sadly so we are just going to remove uh, all this from here just without this mean we have only one if this card mean and uh, you can just remove all this from css also and just make remain the menu control s to save uh, go to run menu launch in chrome so you can see we have only a box here and here is written main there is nothing else so now we are going to insight uh, inside you can see body tech here we are going to insert some div div start div close you need to assign a class here class is equal to a you can create a class or id it's optional so i'm just writing here a also make this duplicate four to five time so this one is b and this one is also b this one should be c this one also should be c and this one should be p in capital i'm just writing d and here also d e and here also e control s now come here and refresh we have five more div inside this div a b c d e so now just uh, come inside the css or just uh, leave css for right now uh, just come here inside css we are just going to call uh, directly div not the classes we're just going to call directly div okay for div uh, just open the curly braces uh, you are assigning the width of this div should be a hundred pixel and the height should be something like 100 pixel the background color should be something like yellow and uh, you can see just refresh control s you can use margin here a margin something like 10 pixel self and let's check so you can see this the divs you need to increase the width of the main element for example the height we're just giving you 600 pixel height or 700 pixel control s and refresh so this uh, some divs we have inside this and if you just decrease the width uh, you can just use something like 500 control s and refresh now this looking better now just go inside your script tag and you can just remove this or you can just use instead of this i'm just going to select the first one dot c so you can just write here dot c and you are just uh, you need to just remove this 
after that we need to write here fed out fed out so it means uh, you can give a timing here also two second control s and come here uh, it means the c should be fed out refresh so you can see it's just going fed on fed out in two seconds just uh, by default so you need to just uh, cut this put this on mouse, mouse click control x and uh, dollar sign like always basic syntax full stop another parentheses and semicolon inside these you are just going to select uh, or insert this one so you need a button here also you need a button so for button just get inside this center tag P U double T O N button start and button close. For example, click to show the event. Click to show the event and this, this is the text which will be written on the button. And you can create a class here. You can give a name for this. For example, B U double T one. So you can just call this button here dot B U double T one this one when someone click on this button so the function function should be run and curly braces inside the curly braces you need to paste that line c should fade out Control s now come here and refresh so you can see we have a button here click on this button so you can see the c is just fading out once again refresh and click on this click to show the event c is just fading out so in next step uh, what you can do you can just uh, put instead of this fair out you can write here side links side links s i b l i n g s so you can just put this uh, area empty after the end of this parentheses you can put another dot and fair out control s and now just uh, come here refresh means without c other elements should be removed click on this so you can see uh, you can just uh, give a timing here for example in two seconds control s refresh now you can see like this you can select element and you can just uh, remove by using fade out by event without c other elements are just fading out so it was the second way uh, in third way, you can just write here instead of uh, sibling next, it means the element after C or next to C. Refresh the element after C is D or next C. Just click this, D is removed. You can see. Once again, click on this. So, the same way you can just write here instead of next, you can write here prev also. P R E V. You can set the element before C. Before C is B. Click here. So you can see. Once again, click. B is just uh, fading out. So like this, uh, we have used here a side link, fade out, prep, next. So you can just uh, use here uh, next, or you can say next all. Next all. Make sure the A should be written in capital letter. And just this all control S and refresh. So after the C, all the elements should be removed. Click here so you can see. Very easy. After the C, the elements are just fading out. The same way you can write here prev all. P R E V prev all. Control S. Come here and refresh. Click on this before the C element before the CR just uh, fading out so like this you can just uh, write here prev until instead of this you can just write here u n t i l make sure that you should be in capital letter so prev until you are just giving here from let's see this uh, the element should be removed between a and d so you are just giving here element should be removed between uh, just D and here you are just coming uh, 
and then it should be removed between D and A you are giving here. Dot A. Control S. Now just come here, refresh, click on this. So you can see the element between A and D are just preferring all or removed. You can see B and C are removed. So in, in, you can just write here prev until or next until. You can just write here next. And you can say from A till D or any other element you want. Control S and refresh. It's not uh, important that you need to just give element between A and D. You can give any element, for example, between A and E. You are just giving E here instead of D. Control S, now come here and refresh, just click on this button. Element between A and E are just removing. You can see. And again refresh. So one more thing we have here. Uh, so you can just write here, for example, we are going to change the name. For all classes, we are putting A. We have just five same classes, same name. Just suppose like this. So you don't need to change this, it is just uh, wasting your time. Control S and refresh. So here, uh, inside uh, your jQuery, you can just insert, uh, for example, instead of this, you can see the first one, F-I-R-S-T. First, and here, you need to just remove this. And Control S. It will just remove the first element. Click this, so you can see. Once again, first element is just fading out so the same you can just write here last also last control s and uh, refresh click on this so the last element is just fading out you can see uh, i think we have uh, discussed uh, about sibling uh traversing there is nothing remain oh sorry uh, you have one more a sibling here we can use for example inside these classes instead of uh, this class I'm just using here ID for the C1 and uh, you can just give this uh, C you can give the name C control S so you can just come here inside your CSS you are just uh, writing instead of last not and instead of this round bracket, inside this round bracket, you are inserting a single quotation hash we are using for ID that we have created here and C. You are just going to say without C, all the elements should be fed out or should be removed. Invisible. Just click on this. So you can see without C, you can just make invisible all the elements. Once again, refresh and click on this and it is just a not sibling you can create just a separate a class or id uh, inside others so you can call it without c or without uh, your different element that should be removed you can see it is just working here so it was about uh, sibling traversing we have uh, completed uh, traversing we have discussed about parent traversing child traversing and uh, uh, Sibling traversing. Sorry. So in next class we will come back. We will discuss how we can create image slider. So till next class, uh, watch the video and do practice. Have a nice time and see you.